Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from India. This is my personal journey towards mastery. Uh, so let me give a small introduction about myself. I completed my bachelor's in engineering in 2012. Then I worked as an English teacher in Russia. And then uh, this is where I found my primal inclination towards the field of arts, especially movies. And then I worked as a graphic designer and here I am at full sale. So the master that I choose from the book uh, Mastery is one of great American heroes and pioneers, the Wright brothers. It was the beginning of the 20th century and men have always dreamed about flying. Ever since Greek mythology, when Icarus attached feathers from birds to his artificial wings and tried to fly, he eventually flailed like everybody um, in the later history to come. So, there were these two young kids from Dayton, Ohio, who dreamed about mechanical intelligence. They, they were curious about machines and how they worked and everything. Um, they were more connected towards mission rather than accepting them as an individual objects. They became a part of it. They understood it. So, um, at one point, Wilbur Wright came to know about, about uh, gliders and the flight. So, he imagined himself flying in a machine that would carry him towards the sky. And he shared this dream with his brother and he eventually both got interested about learning. So towards their path of mastery, they learned a lot about aviation and it, and they had this very strong sensation that they are the ones who's going to solve the million year old puzzle about how to make humans fly. Eventually, on December 17, 1903, the two brothers went to North Carolina to test their first flight on Kitty Hawk Bay. And the design performed beautifully. It shocked the entire world because two men from a different background solved a puzzle that couldn't be solved by people with big engineering degrees and a higher science background. Uh, the reason behind this was very simple. They were more concerned about the feeling of, of flight rather than the money involved or the engines or anything. The other factors, it was their superior craftsmanship combined with their high form of creativity that finally worked and compared to the other factors. Two questions that I would like to ask Wright Brothers if I ever meet them in person. Are, the first one is that how to overcome failures. During their journey, they had a lot of failed designs, but they still didn't give up. They kept on working towards it. I want to know how, like, what does it push you forward towards the dream of not giving up and continuing? And the second question is like, what does it feel to have of a higher consciousness of the mechanical intelligence, like to think outside the box? Uh, of a, even for, for a simple cycle design, they had like a better innovative idea to invent a new frame and attain more stability. I want to know like how does it feel to have that mechanical intelligence and how to put into your work. To talk about the insights of social intelligence, Wright Brothers spoke through their work. Even though having so many critics and people continuing let them down, uh, they continue to move forward and their work is the one that changed the entire human race. It just pushed our economy and connected the entire world, like I said in the beginning. And the second one is Suffer Fools Gladly. They had a lot of people coming and telling them that how are you going to fly? The plywood is uh, heavier than air. It's definitely not going to work. They, instead of continuing to argue with them, they gladly accepted their comments and they worked towards their design. The two out of seven deadly realities that I have are the first one is laziness which I have to overcome as my masters the Wright brothers work really hard towards their design even though they failed so many times they weren't lazy they were really hard workers and the second one that I have need to overcome is rigidity where working in a team you may find people rigid like people who hold their ideas and beliefs you're not supposed to spend so much energy on them and you focus towards a common goal so these two factors if i avoid them 
um, I'll be bec become a better team player. And that's my mastery journey. Thank you.